secondary feeder, so you can find your right lock and the second hand feeds through and then I'm in my lock, okay? Once I get to the first lock, this is the first one of the set, and I always want to remember, I, for some of the beginners here, you think of it as making a W with your hand, and the key is to cut across the pinky, pinning in so that we do a break. The key is to break on this for a throw with a hold in. So the first lock is a mote. Then look, I'm not, I'm letting go with my right hand, and I'm gonna feed my left hand through and under and immediately come into what we call urayak. Now my urayak is immediate pain, right to the wrist, right to there. I then want to kick the fingers down. I'm gonna go into the third one, I'll review it, and then we'll go over it. I kick the fingers down, and I reach under with my left hand into what we call etanage. Third lock. Okay, so watch the whole set again. So from, from the punch, he comes in, I block. I feed through. First lock, second one, under, reverse wrist lock, what I got, pain. Notice I'm not doing this to get the lock, I just stay right on. Then I come under, left hand, under, and I get into my, I have my pain. My second wrist lock, my guy shouldn't be not, I shouldn't be trying to bend and kiss, I should be getting right here. Point So once I have it, this is the key to this lock. Once I feed through, I put it here, it's almost as if his palm was flat, my pressure is on the joint inside of the wrist and I hear a bolt of my hands is going like this on his wrist and then I'm torquing his pinky to his belly button or his guitar and that's where the pain is. Notice where his face is. I have a lot of stuff here with control. When I come up to my etanage, still if, if I have the pinky in the right spot, his back leg will bounce. If, if I have good control, grab his elbow and put it into my bicep and bring him down. It has to be elbow down because if it's high, he'll pop out. So I keep him down just like this. The same exact lock as we were doing here is now in my bicep. <coughs> and I keep it on that pain, like the guys are real pain. I just take the fingers and I walk through. Understood? At that point, I have this control, this twist, and they don't feel it, twist it in and pull it in. So grab and release and I come right into my next lock and I have this couple. Now if people are flexible here, sometimes we do this, I have a student where her fingers can touch her bicep, it's incredible, but what you need to do then is torque out and then pinky down, torque in. It amplifies the pain 10 times. So I have this. So remember we were here, go back here. Within a lot of pressure, he's gonna to wanna to push his hand out, so I apply my thumb and release, it's right into this. This is another couple home used by law enforcement, every agency you could be in, okay? Now, once I do this watch, I'm gonna grab the hand, and I'm gonna feed it through, keeping tension on the wrist, and then come into this bend. Right and on from this lock here, this one here, come down, we ate everything, come down, lock. I keep this right hand controlled, keep it through, keep it the elbow bent, come in. It's important that the bend on this